Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Today we're going to look at a Coventry gang who shipped £250,000 of Class A into towns on the county line called Kano, codenamed Kano. The police have brought down a county line's gang that trafficked Class A valued almost £250,000 from Coventry onto the streets of tourist towns. The group operated through two Covid lockdowns from January 2019 to July last year and are believed to have supplied at least 2.5 kilograms of crack cocaine and heroin upon the streets of Stratford-upon-Avon and Leamington. Police officers found hundreds of marketing messages sent to the users from their main drugs hotline which use both the brand names Kano and CJ, including one saying, come and get your tackle, still in stock, best of both, and another advertising, around the clock active, best in town. Levi Pollard Mersum, who's 29, from Widdicombe Close in Henley Green, ran the line and exploited addicts to run the drugs, carry out street deals, and also cocooed homes of vulnerable people to use as supply bases. Jordan Hill, who was 31, was another senior member of the gang who managed the deliveries and took orders on the county line. Other members of the gang included 20-year-old Paul Walker, who was Pollard Merson's brother. Mr Walker helped store drugs in Coventry, and Lewis Kerr, who was 29, acted as a transport and muscle for the group, who was looking to expand the line into rugby. Kieran Hill, who was 23 from Broad Park Road in Henley Green. Nell Danusi, who was 22. Hassan Michaela, who was 18. Gary Brown, who was 19. And 36-year-old Amy Lamb, all acted as drug runners. Pollard Merson, Kieran and Jordan Hill, Lamb, Danusi and Michaela, all admitted conspiracy to supply crack cocaine and heroin. While Mr Walker, from Rosebury Avenue in Coventry, and Mr Kerr were both found guilty during the trial. Mr Brown is already serving a six year jail sentence for the supply of Class A and the eight others involved will be sentenced at a later date. The investigation was run by the West Midlands Police Regional Organised Crime Unit also known as the ROCU alongside with Warwickshire Police. The ROCU Detective Inspector Julie Wood said this was a classic county lines operation. Pollard Merson was in charge from a distance, making up to £1,500 per day. He controlled the others through violence, threats and reputation. Pollard Merson made most of the money, but exposed himself to very little risk, while the drug runners faced the very real dangers of being attacked with weapons by rival gangs or being arrested by the police on the streets. During the investigation, we recovered more than 1,000 wraps of heroin and crack cocaine, plus nearly £10,000 in cash. The men in charge of this operation have shown themselves as callous individuals, driven by greed, and were happy to make money on others' suffering. We will keep you updated when they go up for sentencing. Thank you for joining us today. What are your opinions on the crimes committed by the Coventry drug gang? How long do you think they will get when they go up for sentencing? Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and share. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more Street Crime UK content, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can join us on the next video. Thank you for joining us and until next time, stay safe.